Welcome to Love Them Knives channel. This is LTK. What do we have? Oh yeah. We got a great knife in the studio today. It's the Riot or Riate, however you want to pronounce the name. K1. Yeah, this, you know, I remember seeing this on like Epic Snuggle Bunny's channel. It was like a concept knife at the time. They didn't even have a name for it. Uh, and now it's for real and it's for sale. Check it out. I mean, this, uh, see that lanyard hole? You know, that uh, looks a lot like the lanyard hole cutaway that they did on the torrent. Wow, really well done. See the backspacer? It's kind of crowned a little bit, contoured. The carbon fiber, this is, you know, you can get it with regular carbon fiber insert, or you can get, which I did, uh, or you can get the marbled carbon fiber. So, however you want to go with that. I really like this checked pattern of the standard carbon fiber. I'm not a big fan of the marbled carbon fiber. Uh, it looks too much like g -mascus to me, and I've seen a lot of g -mascus. I'm not big into that swirled kind of pattern, um, but I haven't had it in my hand, so I'm kind of talking on third hand. But it just doesn't appeal to me visually. Uh, where this does. I like this. I think this is really a classy looking knife. It's a good size knife. This is almost four inch blade. So it's almost nine inches overall. It's like eight and now oh, crap. Let's just do it. Quit talking about it. See, it's almost three and seven eighths inch long blade. Not quite four. And it's eight and three quarter overall. Oh, uh, 20, over 22 uh, centimeters. And the blade, not quite 10. Pretty close to 10 centimeters. Good size knife, like I was saying. Let me see if I can get my tape measure back down. So it's, you know, it's got these titanium uh, frame with... The carbon fiber and if check the 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 hardware out so look at here this screw here let me let me check the hardware i don't know this doesn't feel magnetic it's not a real strong magnetic pull i'm probably getting this might be titanium hardware here there's a slight magnetic here Nothing here on these screws. What I was going to say is this screw here looks different than these that are uh, holding the carbon fiber inset. It's more of a domed type screw. They're shiny though. They're not just regular old, you know, gray cap hex screws. This is more of a flattened. This is more of a domed. But these are flat. And they're flush. And this carbon fiber is really seamless here on this handle. Really seamless. It's got a RWL34 steel hand rub satin blade. Now you can get this in satin satin. <laughs> I'm saying satin twice. Because it's just, they have it just in a satin. Or they have it in hand rub satin. Or they have it in stone wash, which, uh, nah. I mean, hand rub satin is so nice. Here's the deal. I mean, the regular satin would fingerprint up real easy. The stone wash just looks a little too work type. Uh, this is so sophisticated. The hand rub satin doesn't fingerprint up, yet it has a very elegant look. Lock up on this one about 25%. You like that satin? I like the hand rub satin. I really do. Yeah. 
I guess when they put the edge on this blade, they do it under, you know, they have that freeze cutting, uh, freeze grind. So they keep the temperature way down so it doesn't get really hot because sometimes when they put an edge on a knife on a grinder or whatever, it can get the, the steel so hot that you kind of lose all the, you know, your temper. Temperament, temp, hardness, you know. So the, the, the edge here has, has lost that. And so it's softer than it should be. But here, they, they don't do it that way. I mean, they keep it cool so it doesn't lose its temperament. Temp, tempering. <laughs> it's hardness. Ah, Lord. It's always something, isn't it? I like this, though. It really... Oh, the action's so nice. So nice. You know what? Of the Riot knives... Yeah, this is... Wow, this is... You know, I wasn't that big on the Hills, the District 9, even the Horizon C. The Horizon D, yeah, that's all fancy. You know, M390 and all that. And the Torrent... Love the torrent. And this reminds me a little of the torrent. You've got different contours. I mean, this is really contoured out. You I mean you got if you look at it's smooth, it's a smooth contour, but I mean you've got these Yeah, different. I mean, it's just like seamless. It really is. It's just like seamless how it goes. It's so, you know, look at these angles here. But it's just satiny smooth. Uh, you know, you can feel this coming up to this different level for the carbon fiber. Carbon fiber being really smooth along here. Very seamless transition to the titanium. There's a little speed bump right there. See how that's... But really nice, machined pivot very elegant i like that i mean it's it's pretty just everyday sensible with access to torxes and stuff but still and then you got this crowned spine this is this jimping here is uh, meaningless but if you're going to go out in the woods with this knife don't <laughs> you know i mean this is not yeah i've got a lot of knives i'd take out in the woods this is probably not one of them. This is just, uh, this is a beautiful knife. Yeah, can you use it hard? Oh, hell yeah. Really great action on it. Uh, yeah, perfectly centered. Uh, believe me, brothers, no blade play, no lock rock on this. And of course, you've got, you know, you got your hardened steel. Insert, over travel stop, you can see through that. And then what you notice here is just how smooth and seamless this is. Uh, the uh, pocket clip, the Todd Bag Ball type deal. Of course, Riot makes his Steelcraft series for Field Marshal, Mini Bodega, Full Size Bodega. So, Full Size just came out. Really, really cool. So. And of course, Riot makes the Leong Ma stuff, which that new GSD is beautiful. They got the bling with the carbon fiber part uh, GSD that they call bling, which is the carbon fiber titanium. And then they have it in tuxedo where it's uh, a DLC coated titanium frame with a white micarta insert in it. So check that out some uh, online if you want. That's really, it's beautiful. I'm going to have to get I want the bling. I'm not big into the tuxedo, but the bling, it just looks so incredible. Uh, i got to get that on my channel. But Riot makes them too. I'm just saying, they make some beautiful stuff. Their fit and finish is great. And this RWL34 stuff, I mean, I guess I saw somewhere they thought it was, uh, you know, maybe a close relative to the 154CM. It's a, it's a powdered... Steel, Martinistic, if that means anything to you. And uh, these knives, they're not giving them away. What a surprise, huh? Now, oh, hey, let's get, uh, 
let's get this. So 14 uh, millimeters across, 0.56 inches. So that's a good, you know, thick handle to get your hands on. Let's see what the blade steel, 0.15. So yeah, four millimeters. Yeah, there you go. Nice heavy uh, stock. Doesn't look that heavy when they crown the spine like that. Here's your blade stop up here. Wow. Good detent. Beautiful stuff there. Uh, you got jimping on the flipper tab. Flipper tab's not very tall, so it's not very obtuse. You know, is it? Wow, once it overcomes that detent, it's just out there. It can be gravity flipped, which I did with that outside the camera. So, I mean, it can be gravity flipped, but it's not easy because that's a pretty stiff detent. That's like a seven and a half, 10 being the toughest. That's about a seven and a half. It's not real easy. That's, that's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> that was light switch. Push button, just a nice, beautiful click. Ah, wow. I think they did a really, really, really good job on this one. This contour of this carbon fiber going over the edge here, uh, that's not real easy to do. See how they inset that on top of the scale all the way through here and back. There's your pocket clip, which is inset into the scale. Got a single screw. Oh, well, we got the flashlight around here. Take a look inside. Yeah, they uh, milled out off the top, the underside of the top scale here, where the titanium is, not where the carbon fiber is. They did some milling there. And on inside of the lock bar. Yeah. So, 4.9 ounces, folks. For almost a 9-inch knife that's 0.55 thick. And I'll prove it to you. Put her on a scale. Ah! <laughs> hop, hop. Got it. <laughs> 4.9. Almost went to 5.0. 4.9, yes it is. So not quite even five ounces, 140 grams. How's that? Oh man, I'll tell you what. It's all sweetness and light, isn't it? It's a pretty knife in every possible aspect. I really like this. This and the Torrent, and of course, the Future, which I've still got, still held on to it. With the damage steel blade, uh, oh, it's pretty knife. Of course, this is an integral. And you know what? They're not giving these away for free either. Just saying. Oh, well, if you want to do a comparison, like size-wise, let, let me get them out. I'm sure everybody out there has like three or four of these future knives, you know. Yeah. Get them at Walmart, 39 bucks. So, Yeah. Pretty close to the same size. Crazy. Crazy. Um, how about the uh, Kaiser Sovereign Vanguard Series? Yeah, this is a bigger knife. Bigger knife. This is your typical EDC three and a half inch. See? Bigger knife. I like that blade design, don't you? I think that is nice. What a great slicer that would be. You still got plenty of material up here. So you can do piercing. Looks like a sheep's foot to me. Wonderful. Oh, if you want some specs on here. There's not a lot of sites selling this knife right now. This is late May of 2017. I pulled up Knife Center. They got this is this exact uh, model. 
So they're saying 3.875 uh, on the blade length. And no, not giving it away. But it's in stock. How about that? And if you want to uh, kind of pause and read on this stuff. Yeah. And they talk about, well, they do the Steelcraft series and they do a really nice uh, job. Solo Jack is the designer on this one, uh, this knife. So take note of that. Uh, I don't know much about his uh, designs and I didn't look him up. I didn't Google him. I will later and see kind of what other stuff he's done. And then they talk about they lightened the crown the spine, milled out the inside of the scales. And then they do a little deal on... Uh, Oh, well, characteristics of RWL-34. So they talk about that a little bit. And they talk about the freeze edging skill. So look that up uh, on Knife Center. You know, replaceable lock bar insert, over travel stop, yes. Ceramic uh, ball on the, on the pocket clip. So... Really cool. They talk about the uh, Damas Steel Company, you know, the uh, rapid solidified powder, the RPS uh, steel. So, and, you know, they get a little bit into the chromium, uh, vanadium, this and that for the corrosion resistance, hardness and strength. Equivalent 154 CM, you know, and I don't know if that's something you can argue about because not, I don't always believe the information necessarily that goes on these retail sites sometimes they get some things that are they're wrong but i mean i thought i'd throw that information out at you because you know not everything out there's got rwl 34 on it so you might want to know a little bit more about that uh going forward it looks really nice feels good in the hands really comfortable the action's great it's true one-hander and see, you've got, I know, you know, they didn't do a lot of cutaway here, but there's enough, and it's not that difficult to engage that lock bar. There's enough distance between these two scales, and there's enough difference in the height, and you see the little milled cutaway here to get your thumb on that, even a, <laughs> a thumb that's calloused over from doing this a bunch. Still, not a problem. Good knife. You know, fairly light for as big as it is. Beautiful backspacer. Wraps around. Well done there. There's a lot of touches on here. It's really... I mean, what is the, the Horizon D, which is the M390 and it's all pimped and stuff, and then the the torrent they're in the 375 range so this is not appreciably more expensive just a little bit comes with this nice pouch you know like riot knives do microfiber cloth goes in here they seal it in there. I had to cut the I had to cut the end of the pouch away a little bit just to get the knife out. Isn't that weird? They I mean they seal it right in there. That's a little strange. Uh, and then it just comes in a regular just a regular box that all fits in that box. And here you go. Riot K1 carbon fiber hand rubbed. Yeah. Ah, oh, it feels good in the hand. Wow. Really nice. Mm, well, this would be, yeah, this would be a bucket list one for me. This one here, uh, it's not mine now. It was mine yesterday, and then uh, my buddy snapped it up. And I said, one condition. I get to do, <laughs> put this up on my channel. Uh, 
<laughs> before I send it to you. Oh my God. He, he called me on the phone as soon as I sent him pictures and a little video. And he's like, what is that? Because <laughs> uh, he, it caught him by surprise. He's got some Riot knives. He's got the Torrent. He's got the Horizon C. Uh, and he's got the, the Field Marshal. And he's got, you know, some other Riot made things. Uh, this one caught him by surprise. He didn't see this one coming out yet. And it did kind of get me by surprise too. Actually, um, I had seen the video, but I mean, I had uh, not been tracking it. And so all of a sudden it was out and one of the viewers brought it to my attention saying, what do you think? I love it. It's like a dream. And then, you know, I woke up and joined the world. Nice. Well-centered, no lock rock, no blade play. Fit and finish is incredibly nice. How they roll this carbon fiber over the edge looks a little strange, doesn't it? I mean, it kind of changes the grain when they do that, I guess. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's smooth. It's very seamless. Wow. I like this one. I like the carbon fiber, uh, standard carbon fiber as opposed to the marbled, but that's just me. Pretty knife. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. What more can I say? We love them knives. Yes, we do. Oh, we like, <laughs> we love this one especially. Stay sharp. <laughs>